Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We have to accept surrenders from slug ships, not pirate ships, slug ships. And then have rank 3 sensors when we go to a quest location or something. We have to reject a bio beam. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. As he signs off, your system shuts off and their crew teleports ab aboard from a nearby station. They don't look like engineers. Improved med bay. Try to squeeze some extra power to the system. Fearing the imminent battle, you desperately try to get the med bay working again. Its lights flicker back on, and you turn to face the intruders. Awesome! We actually got it back up. Two into that. Double ion blast. One on the shields, one on the weapons. They are attacking oxygen right now. Magmar kill. There's probably two of them. Barry, why don't you go help? Yep. Combat drones do combat things. Our weapon's disabled. Well, let's put a point into this then. We'll heal up. Why don't you actually come back into here then, since you'll heal faster? You can't beat both of them by yourself. We're still doing things, though. Wow, they're kind of dumb. Okay. I can put points back into this now. It's shooting that one, I'll shoot this one. Slug's quite dead. Your rooms! Actually, you could, uh, you could probably use to restore this. It would be very nice if we didn't die. Ah, we lock we lack power. We lock power. It's spinning! Aww. It spun till it couldn't spin no more. See, this is nice too, even just for alternating them. Oxygen, I will, I will like it when you're fixed. You gonna try and surrender? You are a slug right, light, cr light cruiser. I'll look. Nope, okay, 61. We now have enough to buy our system stuff. The cloaking. So we're going to try and maintain at least 150 while buying other things. More power could help in a lot of places. How many times is that thing going to come on? I get it. 30. And... Okay, I'll accept this. Is there a store nearby? There is not a store nearby, which means I should be able to afford to put another one in. I want to put another point into engines, but that would take up that new point I just got and leave me in pretty much the same situation. I'm going to put another one in there. Put these in proper. We now have enough power to have combat drones and everything else on. There's even two points of an oxygen for some reason. One in the med bay, so I can take that out. We'll have three left over. If I can get one more point, we can have both combat drones on and everything else. Probably save that for the FTL charge, though. Engines. Um, hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of things we can do. We have options now. You arrive near the distress beacon signal. You track the distress beacon with difficulty to one of the seven moon planets hidden in the nebula. As you drift closer, you are contacted by Slug marooned on the moon's surface. I shall join your crew. Say... If... Say I... If you can answer me a simple question, how many moons are there or in orbit here? I don't know. Seven? That is correct. You surprise me. Human, is it? Yes, we can be partners. The Slug beams aboard and joins your crew. Are you kidding me? It was actually seven! And now we have a slug on the doors. Thank you, Williams. I've never had a slug crew member before. The diversity here. If we had one more different, like, species and we were on the Kestrel, things would be awesome. Oh, look, a store. How unfortunate. We don't have 150. Ship engineer has set up a shop here. Yep, they do have cloaking. Repair arm, reverse ion shield is pretty cool. Eh. 
cloaking. And they do have fuel here. We are getting a little low. Fixing, not really required. I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to buy this. Now, whatever happens, we will have this for the final area. So now for the flagship, we have this and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Whenever the overload thing happens, we'll turn this on and hopefully we won't die. Adding 60 dodge onto our 29 already would make it awesome. Uh, crew teleporter I would like to get at some point, especially since our crew is as populated as it is. We need to run into more slug ships now, though. Try to track them as you move to engage. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula and in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage. Yeah, they'd probably get away if I didn't have this. As soon as they see you, they make a run for it. You squeeze what you can out of the malfunctioning sensors and are able to keep track of them long enough to get into firing range. Ooh. So that's what that is. You can you can see their their inside of the like where the crew members are. We're running low on drone parts. Hey, I can even see them on our when they're on our ship. Why don't you guys go do that? Actually, you have 100 health. That means you're not bad at this. And because we have 150 we have 250 health. They only have 200. I think that means we win and they suck. They didn't completely break our oxygen, either. We're still attacking with everything, yes? Yes. Oh, that reminds me, I could have been healing this whole time, too. Fix the oxygen, fix the oxygen. You're not slugs. This guy's a slug, though. Thank you, Williams. See, this group healing thing is awesome, too. I wonder, does this heal them if they're on that ship? If it does, that's amazing. I need boarding stuff. 56 more. Uh, 66. Point in engines, point into power. We have more dodge. Mm, yeah, okay. Jump! Wait a minute! These can't go over anywhere. We have to go around this way. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna buy a fuel. It's all we can afford. The slugs rely heavily on their telepathic powers and are reluctant to give up the, that advantage by extending beyond nebulous. Or extending beyond nebulous. It's unlikely you'll encounter any this far from the clouds. Makes sense. You intercept comm chatter from an incoming Mantis ship. Look, this ship appears to be... or appears not to be owned by the squishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. They move into your position. You can see everything. Shoot that, and shoot that. They don't have a teleporter system. This is their only win condition. That, that right there is their only win condition. And we will remove it. As we heal up! No, of course the missile was the other one. Our drones! Wow, that's actually really lucky because we have the double drone stuff. Because we have four power, it wasn't actually enough. We weren't gonna use that other point anyway. We're also not using the doors, so you should probably go repair this. Mantis Scout. Wait, Mantis Scout? Why is there an Angie on board? Stick, what are you doing? Burn. Now they have a medbay. That wouldn't have worked out anyway. 42 more. Ah, I still need to get another good weapon. But I feel like we've got so much stuff, I can just kind of spend it on whatever at this point. More power is always nice. More engines is always nice. We do have an extra point. You know what? We do have an extra point. I can put this in here and still have two points for that. That's another... That's 10% total because of the last one. So we're at 39% up from 29% now. We're going to come down here because I would very much like... 
for slugs to run away from me. You arrive at the site of two slug ships in communication range. They don't see you. Tap their comm frequency. You overhear their conversation and learning they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down their target coordinates. Added a quest marker to the next sector. I'm gonna try this. You're surprised to find a ship without slug markings stranded all the way out here and move in to provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hall, you quickly reconsider. Ah, they have double shields. Only three crew members, though. It's not like this actually wastes time. I was thinking about just ignoring them because they're not slug people, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. That matters, though. Actually, I guess it hit an open spot. And now they've lost that, too. I guess it really didn't make a difference. Pirate ship! Someday we'll use this. We just don't really- Oh, wait! I could have used that whenever the missile shows up. I think that allows me to dodge whenever. Let's take this out of medbay and leave this in here. It's powering up its FTL! Uh, which one? Two's hitting the shield, so two can hit the cockpit. 28 and four fuel, that's awesome, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'm more interested in this crap at this point. They're resisting everything. They must they have a rock ship, I think. Because the 15% resistance for the hull stuff... Big. And now their shields are going to be a problem again because that finally wore off. Fortunately, it was already too late for them. With this, you get 54. Fantastic. There's no ship here. There is a ship here. Improved oxygen. Trying to squeeze some extra power out of the oxygen system. The slugs here use a tactic you'd hope you'd never see. They use a remote hacking satellite to satellite To satellite to sabotage your oxygen production system and then fire charge weapons. Charge fire weapons. I can't. I don't even... We improved our oxygen. Our subsystem is so awesome that we keep oxygen. Even though we can't read. Okay, no. Okay, okay, no. Everything on the shields. They have triple shields. Do they have bombs? Those bombs, I don't think we can avoid, though. Can we see their weapon charge? Oh, no, we can't see anything at all. Him being there actually doesn't help. Yeah, they're gonna get us. Slugs! Help put out the fire. You're good at that. And you try not to die. You're also good at that. I think. Yeah, okay. Especially since we hit their weapons and they're attacking stupid rooms. Is there a fire here? Can you check if there's a fire here? There's a fire here. Oh, right. This is broken. No, it's not. Hey, and you're actually powering up the door so the fire doesn't spread. That's a bad place for fire to be. Why would fire be in there? The slug ship breaks apart and you get stuff. Uh, you're gonna come in here to help fix this. Hey, why don't you guys just take a step out of here? You can handle this quite easily. And we'll put points in here to heal everybody else up. I imagine these can close now. But, quick run through just in case. There's like no oxygen. Okay, so everything should be fine. Return to your positions. Good. Fixed, ready to jump. The regret. Let's hop over here, we have more options. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spreads his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Drone recovery arm. Drone recovery arm. Burst laser 2! Oh my god, burst laser 2! Drone recovery arm, burst laser 2! Burst laser 2. 
I don't need to think right now. All I need to do is buy. What are we going to sell? I want that drone recovery arm. We're going to run out of drone parts if we don't. Do I really need two of these? 25. How much do I need? We need 34 more. That's worth more than I'm willing to get rid of. 25. 35 would be exactly it. This is a really good defense drone, though, but we won't have enough... Mm, this requires power 3, too. We don't even have anywhere near this crap to do this. If we use this, it's going to be in, like, the last sector. Hopefully we'll get another one by then. I really don't want to sell that, but at the same time... This is going to help maintain how many drones we have so much. It's getting so scary low. And they're like... Well, they were all of our combat effectiveness. This is this is awesome, dude. This thing... I, I, mis I misunderstood people in the comments. I thought this was that uh, chargey one that shoots, like, one, two damage laser thing. This is that one from the Kestrel. If we take out their shields like we are, just annihilate them, this thing gets three shots to hit wherever it wants. I need to finish upgrading this now. We have this... When I, when I first started this run, this was exactly the weapons. These are exactly the weapons I was thinking of having. Everything just worked out. We even have two combat drones, and if we need it, a hull repair one. It's not unusual to feel paranoia in a slug-controlled nebula. But for once, it is unfounded. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. I love this Angie ship so much. Zoltan controlled. We're getting so far already, and we only have double shields. We should probably work on that, too. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing. Ooh, that quest thing from the, the previous area. And a distress beacon. Here, here, here. Yeah, I don't want to backtrack, so going here, here, here wouldn't work. I don't want an ion storm. Okay, we'll go up and around next time. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.